not to yell because we have a, a mediumship meeting going on right there. They're talking to spirits. And as you know, this is a, a spiritist center. But anyways, for you want do you wanna okay. Here's what I asked for uh many, right? Mm -hmm. I, I don't I don't know if you oh I don't know if you read do you come through the meetup? I did, yeah, I did. Okay. Did you uh, read there is a, a link there I put it there with the text I, that we, I didn't, I didn't. No, no not a problem at all okay. so we are talking about basically what is the spiritism because Alan Kardec uh, the guy that was studying uh, the, the spirituality with a different approach with a more scientific serious approach uh, he had a uh, hard time back then trying to introduce this, uh, our, our spiritual development goes on and on and no, we cannot stop because we are spirits and we will never die. So when he was trying to introduce that to the society back then in Paris, and he got in a lot of trouble. So in this book, What is the Spiritism? He is, uh, he basically, he did a book that it's um, the result of a conversation, discussion he had with three people that were against spiritism. The first chapter we read already it was the critic. So we were, uh, we were reading and we were talking about bringing to our life now all this text, what was going on, bringing to discuss what we think about that in our in our day now and the second uh, conversation he's having with the skeptic and then the skeptic although is very interested he's a skeptic so these um, this conversation is very interesting and we are going to continue this I'll, I'll give it to you later it's okay and you can discuss it because it's a it's a pretty open uh, conversation like for example uh, we started the, tap, the chapter and I am going to dissenting explanation where the visitor, which is the skeptic, is asking Kardec because Alan Kardec is saying that spiritism is a science. It's a science that will study the spiritual life just like any other science. And, um, and the skeptic is saying, well, you know, the science that I know, it's uh, by observation. It's by reproducing the same thing and getting the same results over and over again. So is the science, the, the skeptic saying, is the science in America the same in Europe I know what he's trying to get, you know, he's trying to get a Kardec, like what kind of science is that in the spiritism? And then that's the, the first conversation I bring to all of us. I want to ask you this, what do you think that it, science that we have today, and the way that we see science, the way we understand science, is it the same way as 200 years ago? What do you think? Probably not. <laughs> oh, go ahead. go ahead. Stanley, remember. Stanley, go ahead. Stanley, remember, you're in trouble. Because <laughs> 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 you're your friend. Don't worry about it. Well, you well, too, because you're <laughs> serious. Yeah, Anyways. Uh, you just can't recall, so you're... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> For me, the word science should be interpreted. The word science really means knowledge. Okay? And um, the knowledge that we're talking about is the knowledge you don't get in college. You may get the kind of knowledge the skeptic is talking about in college, which is information that you put in. And that, that's not knowledge. The knowledge we're talking about is, uh, again, the knowledge you don't get in college and you can't identify it as uh, <clears throat> information. I mean, we may need some information, 
but the knowledge is is the experience of truth, the truth that is. Science, the, the, you see, so the knowledge that, that, that the skeptic is talking about, well, you get enough information and then you draw the truth out of that information. No, not true. The truth was there before the science was there. And the truth that we talk about is the truth that we experience. And we experience it and don't, sometimes we don't have words for it because our language doesn't include what knowledge really is, what the truth really is. And to have the experience that we uh, as spiritists keep looking for, and then when we get it, it's like, oh, I can't describe this, you know, but it's, it's certainly the truth and I do experience it. Nobody can argue me out of it. Now, if you haven't experienced the truth as I'm talking about, then no amount of information is going to give you that truth. So the science I, I'm talking about is called knowledge. It's not, a, it's not called information. Got it. Got it. Beautiful, That's beautiful. It. Beautifully said. <laughs> Who agree or disagree or what, do, what idea do you have about the way that we see science? I think science is really an attempt by man to understand. The word science, it could be apple, it could be box. But it's really the intent of it is trying to, we are trying to understand what we don't know. Simple. Right, right. So that knowledge, that's true. Yeah, that's why we're all here. Knowledge to me is the, uh, this thing that we're looking for, mm -hmm. is on, <coughs> they say it's unknowable, but what we're experiencing is knowing the unknowable mm -hmm. through, through experience. Mm -hmm. <coughs> they call it science. They call it Yeah, I think that's uh, part of <coughs> stemming off of Stanley and the words that the skeptic uses in this particular paragraph. I uh, use the word, you know, the, the science to him and the facts. Show me the facts. Mm -hmm. Show me the facts that the America does it the way Europe does. The facts. It's like black and white. Methodology. Right? Yeah. And so, mm -hmm. kind of, he's stuck in his own interpretation of science. So this is part of maybe his point of view and where he's stalled, right, if you will, as a skeptic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but I like the fact that as we start to peel back the onion, if you will, as mm -hmm. Karnak goes through, and we'll, maybe we'll hear some more of that, um, you know, he starts to talk about, well, think of other sciences, and, you know, we've discovered this, and then there's another theory for that. And you can't disprove that until you can disprove it, right? So if that theory becomes something relative and real and truth and knowledge, then it's never disproven. And now it's, oh, it's another piece of science now. You see how it evolved into, they had to start with another theory. This is just my interpretation now. So, so think of a medicine. Oh, here's a medicine, or, uh, you know, and it can apply to this. Well, then, well, we have another methodology, or we have another mass uh, medicine that can apply to, oh, we're not sure about that, but this one always worked, right? You understand where we're going? Mm -hmm. But if you continue developing this, you could develop the theory, develop the methodology, maybe develop the medicine, hey, and it might actually work. Mm -hmm. So until you can't mm -hmm. disprove it, it does not make it not a science, exactly. if I said that right. So, yeah, yeah. so I think, you know, so Kardec starts to unra unravel this ball, this snowball, or this ball of yarn, if you will. Like, yep. In my interpretation, he's trying to give him these little pieces of... Well, didn't didn't it work like that over there? And what about this other theory over here? And the whole idea is you'll see how it un unfolds. We talked last week, I think the week before, where it was it was using the same type of thing, um, where uh, you know you 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 know if you can't dispute it, you can't dispute it until you can dispute it. And so as spiritism continues to outline its truths and its knowledge, and its findings, right? Mm -hmm. And its way of measuring, wow, that really happened. Mm -hmm. Even though I can't see it or touch it or taste it, for example. There's nothing to disprove it, so it continues to evolve. And so I, this is my connection from how the last, you know, Kim comes in, the critic comes mm -hmm. down to this skeptic mm -hmm. in a similar fashion. Um, so that's my, that's my, my take. Beautiful on, on you said, piece. I like what you said. And uh, I see from a, uh, a point of view from an immigrant point of view that I lived in Germany before and and you can sense how the the society 
how do they transfer the responsibility of getting the knowledge to the science? And I see, well, I lived in California for 14 years, and especially over there, they, they rely a lot in science. So science, they breathe science, science everything. Although in San Francisco Bay Area, I know Los Angeles, you can talk about Los Angeles, but in San Francisco, things are changing. They are becoming so spiritual now. It is amazing. There is a revolution going on there. And they are taking yoga as a, a new type of religion. So yoga is a huge thing in the Bay Area. It's like a status quo. It's like, you got to have that. It's your ID, it's your card. So a lot of people, they like to say, it's my, my yoga, I'm going to my yoga, and yoga fashion, yoga this. It, and I, I, I can sense that they, because the science is not giving the whole inf knowledge information that they need, and they feel like, oh, there is something missing. And now they... They're holding on to yoga Man to science. have the fulfillment. Man, the word science. Yeah, I think it's an evolving. It's an it's an evolving methodology. As we get more information, now yoga is being incorporated as science. And the next right, thing is exactly. so, so as we grow in knowledge, science is going to evolve. That's why you see I kind of remove the word science. I kind of have science as something that we use to get to knowledge. It's a tool. It's a tool. It's a tool. I it's agree with right you. Right before you said, oh yeah, it's a tool. It makes sense. Yeah, I agree. Well, yeah. well, I think, I think that for the most part, um, science ends up proving what we know by experience. Um, as as you said, so say, <clears throat> the example that comes to mind is is gravity. We experienced gravity um, all through history. But then only a, a few um, hundred years ago, we had the science to um, explain why things fall and so on. I mean, uh, throughout history, people even thought that it was witchery or, you know, whatever other thing. Um, and many, many... And the world was flat and all yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> of course, you experienced... Gravity, electricity, all of that. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. in the other hand, I think there's another side to it, uh, to science. and. And this could be um, useful or uh, have an impact on, on spiritism. And it's that science will tell us about things that we cannot experience. Say, uh, I'm thinking, just as an example, the, the structure of the galaxy or, or the structure of the universe. We know through science uh, a lot of information about it. We cannot really experience uh, directly all of that um, but you know through um, uh, through through the kind of, of light that we get or uh, the um, the the um, scope uh, or frequency of that light we can uh, infer some information and then we can say okay the universe is this large or uh, those distance. stars mm -hmm. are at that distance or are um, getting away from us or closer uh, to us, there's no way we can see if uh, you know if, where a star is or how uh, or if that star is, is getting closer or uh, far far away from us. But science is telling us that. So what I think is that um, at some point, science, uh, because it's acquiring new tools uh, that uh, that we don't have today or we may not have today it can be able to um, explain us uh, things about um, the spiritual life that uh, we're not able to just uh, directly, uh, or at least not all of us are able to directly experience. Um, but I think science is, it, as you said, it's, it's a tool that mm -hmm. can mm -hmm. help. Yeah, that the starting point may help us also to you know dig into that and and say okay, even though you cannot directly touch a spirit, it is there and and we may not have science may not have the tools today, 
but it's constantly evolving so mm -hmm. you know maybe tomorrow we'll have new tools what about Manny and Steve and Val you guys have anything to add to disagree to agree no, I mean it is a good problem yeah, sure. Yeah, why not? Yeah, what you're saying is, is is all true. I mean, science. I mean, science is just an inquiry. You know, it's a it's a it's a it's a questioning. It's a observe observance of the net of the world and trying to figure out the truth. So even if someone has an idea, it's 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 a starting point. Even if it might not be right, it's still a place where you can start. And then once you start to see that and understand, you know, one maybe one tiny aspect of you know the world or the universe. And the next person will see that, and then they can build off of that, and then mm -hmm. it just starts to all the pieces of the puzzle are slowly, you know, starting to, you know, right. arrange yeah. themselves. And I see, I see, science today is is more positive than you know, in Kardex, like 200 years ago, it was, it's more complicated, not accessible, and nowadays it's it's easier for anyone who would like to study something and observe something seriously, it's easy, more accessible. Like for example, the quantum physics in, in 200 years ago would be something like spiritism. Right. It would be the same thing. It's the very same thing. The, the northern lights, perfect example, the aurora realis. Right. <laughs> when they first, the indigenous people used to look at that stuff and they thought it was ghosts or whatever. Mm -hmm. Today it's exponential. Right. The tool, science. Natural. I see yeah. spiritism as the very same thing. 500 yes. years from now. Yes. You can just tell like a static electricity. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. You used to rub the amber. Think, what, you know, think what? Thousands of years ago, you know. right? Yeah. They had no idea what that was. And the spirits, they say that. We will reach a point where a a group of, uh, of, of physicians and doctors, before they get together to operate someone to do a surgery in someone, they will be connected by their hearts and their minds because they will understand that we are always spirits and they will be there not only as physicians but at, in a mission to heal someone. So it, we will reach the point where, where we are going to talk with the loved ones that passed away <coughs> through TV or radio or we will reach that point. You're not there, but as as you are all saying, this is a natural science that simply because we can see, it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist, and we will get there little by little. Remember Masaru Emoto, the, the Japanese guy that was, uh, you know, the particles, the water, the the frozen, um, the frozen, what is the name of the thing? Flakes. Crystals? Flakes. Flakes, yes that was doing that, when he started doing that, everybody's like, no, this is not consistent, this is not science. And today, a lot of scientists, they get his works and start a, a other type of, of work stream and using that point. Same thing as Mesmer, <coughs> as we do here, magnetism. Same thing, when Mesmer because he was a, a doctor, physician, when he took the idea about, uh, about the animal magnetism to the French Academy, he was like, this guy is crazy. And now we, we know about all this mm -hmm. and we are learning more and more. Steve, you want to say something? Sorry, I thought you wanted well, to say you something. Well, know, your original question was how is science today different than back then, yeah. right. 200 years ago. Right. I can't say that it's different, but what I was going to sort of throw out there was that like today when you think about science like who's paying the bill and a lot of times the person who's paying the bill they're not looking for you to just observe a result they want you to prove their point they're like, decide to, you know, yeah. if, have an agenda. If, the, if the Republicans are paying the bill they want to show that climate change is not a thing if the Democrats are paying the bill we want to see that that's, that's not science that's something else yeah. I am the troublemaker here okay not anymore. Not anymore. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. It, th there is a side too. So I, of I, course. I don't really know. Like I honestly don't know. Like it's it's hard to say when you read something in the in the right. news. Like I you know I always get news and you know from my Yahoo account or whatever. You know, I always see all kinds. Of, I like to read articles and things and read about the planets and read about the the Hadron Collider or whatever pops up. And it's hard to know like what to believe and what not to believe sometimes. Mm -hmm. when you read stuff. Mm -hmm.
go ahead, go ahead, and then I will I'll we'll finish briefly. But yeah, the media will tell you what you should be thinking, and that's part of why I don't watch so much TV. I watch movies and I watch comedy. And, uh, and that's specifically why I think I know a lot of spiritualists who probably don't watch TV and the news like they used to, uh, because of some of you know it's what you what we should. Here's what you should be interpreting from this. Yes. This is the news we're going Think yeah. about it. You listen yeah. carefully. That's what you yeah. get. But and every station could have their own view. It could be a different view from another station. But it's their influence of what they think you should be interpreting by what we're going to say next. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, that's that's a real reality. Yeah. That's that my opinion. So. But what balances me though is that at night you go outside and you just look up, and that brings me back down to earth. What's yeah. important? Yeah. So by the time I go back inside and look at Fox, CNN, and MSNBC, any one of those ideas, what ends up happening is that they seem so insignificant. Yeah, it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> because it's really look at what I just looked at. I yeah. looked at a light that was a star. It was a star. And what they told me is that if I were to get to that point, that star no longer exists because it exploded millions of years ago. It took that long for the light to come to my eyes. And they talk me about whatever they're talking about. I mean, look at it. That's yeah, nice. So, so that kind of yeah. brings me, I do it ever so often when things go really, really crazy. Yeah. And it's and, and they say, you know, you, sh you should spend time out in nature, you know, away from man. I do it ever so often when I, when I can. Yeah. You know, and it kind of brings stuff back into perspective. Again, yeah. and that's yeah. search for truth. That's true. That's true. Because we will not find truth here in this physical world. Right, right. We yeah. have to look beyond. We have to open and think, understand is that you know, everything has that spirit in it. In the rock, magnetism. There's right. energy in that thing. Right, right, right. That Fox and that's and CNN, none of them can explain it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's funny exactly. <laughs> well said. And and going in that with that note, with that what you said, and Kardec is saying here something that is connected to what you said. Mere criticism can destroy the spirit's doctrine. Why criticism and mere criticism can't stop this nature that we are? We are spirits. Why just criticism will not stop this? Why? Well, it goes back. It's, it's, uh, it's proven. You can talk anything about it, right? It's a science again, right? So there's a theory you can prove it for it, or you can prove it against, but you have to prove it. Yeah. So if you can't, back to what I was saying, part of what came from the other chapter, you know, you you, you can't dispute it until you can dispute it. Am I making sense of this? Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm using the wrong word, but until no. you can say, look, you're right, wrong, right. You, what are you going to do? I don't think so. Okay, so you don't have to think so. What about you? Oh, right. Maybe. Right. All right, that's enough. Let's go into maybe. That's a new theory. Let's keep evolving this theory. So that's. Yeah, and I was thinking because yeah, of what he works, said. It works for me in this regard. I'm thinking this. People can trying right. to hypnotize everybody about mm -hmm. the material world, the, the the problems that we have here on this planet, but they can't stop us from learning the truth. That yeah, we well, have multiple lives. That there are lives in other planets. That they're more evolved than us, some, and some less evolved than us. Some the same, exactly. It's, mm -hmm. it's not possible to stop. So Imagine. you can try to look at the... But we were alone in the universe, and we were in the center of the universe, and so right. our science, right. so our science is proving spiritism, by exactly. the way. If you look hard enough, maybe we'll bring some of that in the next few weeks. Yeah. Um, Right, center of the universe. Oh, we're not. Oh, and you know, oh this and oh yeah. that and oh, wow, there's a star. It's probably burned down by the time you see right. it. It's really, really far away. But that's as good as we can tell you with that definition because it's really, really far away. Right. And we think it's this how many zeros and right. commas right. long years away. Um, but you know, then you can keep leaping on uh, how science is proving all phenomena that you can't explain. Quantum physics, for example, mm -hmm. you take from particles, you know, brother and sister particles. Right? You put one on one side of the earth, one on the other, and you jiggle one or the other one jiggles. Mm -hmm. Imagine. How does that work? Don't know yet, but we're discovering all this stuff. Anyway, so that's so fascinating to me because I have you know, I'm physics and, and this kind of stuff related to school. Um, electronics and engineering and, mm -hmm. and uh, computer technologies and communications. But um, 
So if you if you wanted to see what science is doing, mm-hmm. it's actually helping spiritism. It's helping what we're discovering, what we're learning, because it's converging and show. Oh wow, yeah, maybe they're right. So soon, I don't know what that means. Hundred years, thousand years, ten years, I don't know. But soon. And, and maybe every few weeks, for all I know, things I'm not even reading about yeah. yet. There's more discoveries that are no, going. No, there's a lot. That are going, wow, have that, you ever that's heard of kind of uh, true. Whoa, wow. Gary Schwartz? Not. It's have really you, crazy. Have you ever heard of Gary Schwartz? Yes, yes. Gary Schwartz? Not research, but I've heard of, yeah. So yeah. Gary Schwartz is a scientist. He is based in Arizona. And he's trying to prove that we have a spirit that, we, that does not die in lab. Okay. He's working with mediums, mm-hmm. and he's a very serious scientist. Not only him, there is a guy also in uh, a Russian scientist. There are many. There is uh, the University of ooh, South Carolina or North Carolina. Ian Stevenson. The Ian Stevenson. Now, uh, is his name is Jeff Tucker, that used to work with him. Now is the the director of the department, department, what is the name? It's a funny name. Department of Perpetu, Perpetu Perpetual. Department, Perpetual Department, something like that. That's the name. <laughs> and there they have uh, the, the cases, the scientific cases, um, that is proving the reincarnation. His work, Jan Stevenson, alike, uh, Brian Wise and all the other guys, the uh, Newton, what is his name? Something Newton. The other guys that were talking about this, the multiple lives, the scientists that were talking about this. Ian Stevenson didn't talk to the mass. He didn't write a one single book that wasn't very technical, and and that's why he's not popular, like Brian Weiss, for example, Many Lives, Many Masters book, you know this book, right? So everybody knows this book. And many other, there are other guys too, and like uh, Wayne Dyer as well, that was a respected man, it's amazing man. And, uh, but Ian Stevenson, I guess, I miss that he didn't write any book to try to introduce the idea of reincarnation to, to Americans. Mm-hmm. He got like uh, three books that you can find in the Amazon, but they are all very technical and they're not popular at all. Mm-hmm. But anyways. I think what Kazik was thinking when you <coughs> wrote that mm-hmm. uh, is that reality is stubborn. Yeah. No, he's talking great things here. That we are not in detail. We're just discussing a few things. But the, the 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 skeptic is trying to say, but well, can't we fake what is going on in a mediumship meeting, for example? And then Kardec says that just because you can fake it, it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. Something intelligent behind that. Mm-hmm. So that's that's not the way the thing and and that's why he said mere criticism can destroy the spiritist doctrine the spiritism right to say about the phenomena this can't happen or that's it's an absurdity isn't enough it must be demonstrated categorically that the phenomena in question can't be produced and in fact haven't have not been produced that it's something nobody has done yet. Because w- when Kardec was uh, doing his um, meetings, he was always inviting people that were against the spiritism. Mm-hmm. And like, he was inviting people to, to see something that he, he might not capture, mm-hmm. and he didn't want to be fooled by, by that. Oh, he wanted to show the truth. Right. He wanted to show something that could stay like it is until today and uh, because it's, what is the spiritism it's spiritism is it's the knowledge that that is coming from the spirits people like you and me that died and they came to a group and said okay let's let's do this in a different way because so far we are 
we are mystics, we are shamans. We can't be shamans forever. I always say this here, and I'm from Amazon, the land of the shamans. But uh, we can't be shamans forever. We got to figure out how do they do it? How come they get those results? How come they can uh, somehow heal some people? Because they do. <laughs> but what is it? What is in that? What is what behind is that? Mm-hmm. What is the nature? What is the b- vibration? Let's measure. W- why is what is coming out of his body? We we don't even know uh, the the whole human body. The, our science can't even explain something. Some diseases science just say we don't know. Just that's the way it is, right? I had I had an experience with the lupus years ago, and they said. You know what you have? It's 80% chance that is lupus. But you know, don't think don't think about it. If you have a symptom, go and talk to your doctor. Doc, doctor. Because they can't say for sure. This is this. We are 100% of what we've sure. seen and 20% we haven't seen. So you know yeah, what I yeah. mean? I mean, at least so, if I was with you in that regard. But and, so. then, and then the doctor said, do not believe or read anything or believe in anyone. If you have a symptom, symptom talk to your doctor. That's all. That's 80% chance. And, and like, like what I have, so many people, they go through this, right? They have the things that are not explained. And the medicine as well. The medicine, do you know that the medicine, the same treatment that a doctor prescribed to someone, 40% of their patient, his patient or her patient, it's not going to work 40 for 40% of the people. Mm-hmm. And it's not going to work for the rest. So some doctors, they say that it, that's the, the, the mentality, the emotions. And, and we are starting that on that road into the emotions. It is not yet. So what will cause it better? The arrogance of materialism. We are so arrogant. Yes. The physical is so arrogant. Yes. The material is so arrogant. Yes. Center of the universe. The big <laughs> trial problem. Center of the universe. Just imagine that. We yes. thought that we were the center of the universe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Look at the height of that arrogance. Yeah. Same thing with medicine with the doctors, mm-hmm. you know? They go in and they, they project this image that they know and really they do not know. You, you said you're from the Amazon. I'm from Trinidad. I've been into Venezuela. I've been to South America some. I have been to places and even to my family. I have I had a, a, an old aunt. She's she's like way up in age. And she didn't go to the doctors. She practiced a type of medicine that today is lost it was lost with her dad. Oh. She did stuff that is like I saw her heal shingles. Who is this? An aunt I had, my grandfather's sister, my grandfather's older sister. I saw her as a kid heal my grandmother with shingles. You see? She had shingles. Mm. And they had these, she had these knives and she burned them and she kind of put little cut marks. I remember my grandmother had these cut marks. Mm. And she, my grandmother did not go to a doctor. Did not. I was a kid for like six, seven years old, my witness said. So I always knew, I mean, we all know. It's just that the arrogance of this <laughs> decides yeah, that absolutely. that stuff really doesn't exist, you know. But we know it, we all know it. Yeah. There are things, there are things within yourself that you see that you can't explain first begin. The language is limited. You understand? And the that too. The, the knowledge, the, the real true knowledge is limited to explain it. But there's things that happen beyond that that we're aware of, that we kind of know. You know, so when the doctor tell you that stuff, it's basically they say, you know what? My doctorate degree can only take me to this point. There's a exactly. whole world beyond that, and they kind of chuck it up to, well, go back to another guy who has a doctorate degree. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I bet. I think that's really kind of what makes spiritism sort of its own science, too, because we don't base spiritism on dogma. It's not like we say, like, well, Alan Kardec said this, and this is the way it is, and like he even said, like, if you prove me wrong, we'll, we'll take it out of the book. Yeah. Basically, mm-hmm. you know? yeah. So, it, like, it can grow and it can change, and 
we can admit if we're wrong and we can you know we can add new things it's not like it's that's, not like it's stuck you know? that's why i try to kind of take the word science out of it because you're trying to take this huge square peg called spiritism and the, the hole is this big and round that is science how could we do this so well, that's why I, I, try, I try i try not to make it appear that way so i'm trying not to use the thing. word science you know to kind of describe the stuff i just told you guys right. i could not tell my my, my um, great aunt about science she looked at me and laughed because what she what she was practicing was way beyond now she herself i know probably didn't fully understand it or she got a gift they got a gift a gift a gift we all have gifts and yours was more sensitive than others yeah Yeah. and basically as i'm trying to say we all have it right she just wasn't too exactly Exactly. yeah Yeah. Yeah. so i kind of learned from them i try not to use the word science because i listen to the scientists on television and that's the the black guy um doctor the guy who's the Physicist? Physicist. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I love to listen to that guy. Me too. I, like I love to listen to him. Me too. Because even though he is whatever he is, but he brings information that further um, allows me to understand exactly. Who are you talking about? Neil Sorry. deGrasse Tyson. Who? Dr. Tyson. Neil deGrasse Tyson. He. Mm-hmm. Physicist. He's an amazing guy. Oh my God. He's um, amazing. He introduces stuff that it's is a like beautiful further, human being. Yeah, that further reinforces what I do. Yeah. I mean, you could not. Yeah. He's an amazing human being. You know? And we have those. And we have those now. And every once in a while, we have those evolved spirits that come here. Mm-hmm. And they, you cool. know, they push things up a little right. bit and say, you know, open your mind about things. Well, it's like, it's like he's almost like an interpreter because he's a scientist, exactly. but he's making it so, yeah. so the masses can, yeah. can believe. You know, it's like a, that, he's like yeah. the magic mediator. You know, yeah. Yeah. Imagine, yeah. like Matt Carl Sagan, same thing. Right. Imagine his mentors, Dr. Carl spirits Sagan. that are higher level. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, well, Carl Sagan was yeah. uh, one of his. Yeah. One of yeah. Yeah. This, yeah. Right. I mean, this is yeah. also how it works. We all have mentors. Yeah. Um, but one thing I wanted to comment on: uh, we do spiritual healing here in this center. Mm-hmm. Right. I, know. I saw it. In fact, we did the first yeah. time last year. Yeah. yeah. So this is pretty, pretty. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And 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 I like this Focus center group, yeah. especially because the attention they uh, pay to magnetism, which is going back. Science is going back to a lot of things too. I remember I'm always. Uh, in this uh, uh, Chinese clinic in San Francisco. Mm. I don't know if you have Chinese clinics here in, in Florida. In San Francisco, they even have schools, a Chinese medicine school. Mm. So that medicine that they d- just don't send you to do exams. They look at you, it's like an hour. It's amazing, they interview you and they, they touch your pulse and they look at your tongue and they ask a lot of questions about your life. It's very natural, like natural. It's no. uh, less exams and more looking at, at the person. It's, it's, it's amazing. Well, they the have evaluation. They, and they okay, heal, take a couple of Yeah, years. and they heal with teas. They have a bunch of teas from, from China. It's amazing. So the doctor that, that I was talking, uh, that she was doing a acupuncture uh, session on me, she said, we were talking about this, and she was telling me that there was a a study that what they were doing in university in San Francisco where they had some dogs um, training dogs to smell um, cells with cancer mm-hmm. so she yeah. said she would this doctor she was telling me that we human beings we have this capacity but we lost we mm-hmm. lost she said that we lost a lot of things mm-hmm. and science know that we lost a lot of things mm-hmm. and now she's saying that there are a lot of studies that are trying to bring back this this census instinct. We weren't ready, I mean, I guess that's part of it. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. We weren't so ready, too. we weren't, you that, know, that evolving is true. fast enough, there was other priorities, you know, for this yeah. humanity yeah. that we had to work on first, you know. What's also, he's, he mentioned nature earlier, it's, it's a separation from nature as well, like we're, we're going farther and farther from the natural world, but like, you know, we have these urban jungles with, you know, concrete and houses and there's no mm-hmm. tree and, and miles of sight, you know. Mm-hmm. This more you separate yourself from the natural, the natural science, then 
so yeah. it's very difficult. It's very difficult to, it to find. It is true. That. The whole and thing's we, alive, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and we we created <laughs> uh, all this trouble in all the forums, the world of forums that Buddhists they talk, and the problems that we create in the world, and we get more and more separated from our own nature because we create all those rules and all those and materialism mm -hmm. yeah, yeah exactly materialism. that's it Pride. that's exactly what all yeah. this uh what is the spiritism is about because these three people the critic the skeptic and the priest they are trying to tell kardec or someone not kardec let's put just someone trying this is us. nonsense us they're trying to tell us yes yes this is nonsense yeah. mm -hmm. you're never gonna be successful trying to introduce this idea that we are spirits and we have multiple life experiences body experiences and we will never die we are eternal so that's what they're trying to say so and that's what go ahead oh me? yeah so, no you just stemmed something what and, do you want to say thank, thank you to you because you, you put a little tickle in my mind so reincarnation you know, a lot of this is because of our evolution, right? And it's the humans and the reason. You know, we reason, right? We you know, mm -hmm. don't flow at all the things we're supposed to, like with the nature. We just go do what we need to do. It's more pride and selfish and money, materialism. Um, and so we, and these religions that we've created, and we said, this is the way you do it. It's not the way you do it. We, we decided, we said that we're going to tell you that's the way we need to do it. That, yeah. That's not necessarily has to be the way. And spiritism gives a way to go, look, here's the stuff, right? And you don't have to, like, walk to the left three steps. And you know, I mean, it's, here's the stuff. Here's the truth. Here's the knowledge. And here's some more information. Keep understanding all of this to the end of the universe. You know, if you want to keep reading, keep reading. A lot of people don't know. Two places. I was raised Catholic. I was confirmed in the Catholic Church. Mm -hmm. The original Bible has two chapters, two areas that speak to reincarnation. It's not in there anymore. This was removed. Uh, I don't have the years right, but I think it was 335 and 558. Five, Two places in the Bible. I didn't know about. How would I know about? By the time I read it, it was gone. Sorry, Reincarnation in the Bible. I'm raised Catholic. I never knew it existed. I didn't hear about it. Uh, this center. Someone came on a lecture. Yeah, but I bought his book. And I inquired about it, and he gave me the exact dates. In an instant, he already knew. Well, probably what I was going to ask before I was asking him. Yeah, well, <laughs> and he wrote it. So it's in one of my books. Many things that were removed from the, uh, so, the Bible. Right? And I would guess. And so I'm like, you know what? Oh, I probably knew that. In my last piece, it sounded good. It keep reminding me of this cool story. I mean, maybe I'll find this kid one day. I was probably 10 or 11. And some kid in the neighborhood, you know, just out of the whim, I'm, I'm, we're playing in the neighborhood. I didn't see. I don't know what we were doing. And if you believe in reincarnation, I, at age 11, I have a chance mm. to like have a lot of years of study at this point, but I, I missed it. And I think one of the other kids are playing, wouldn't be like dogs or something? That's the last I remember this conversation. <laughs> but it reminded me, it's like, you know what? I probably knew it then, I know it now, and now I'm studying, you know, even harder and harder at this point in my life. And it's uh, it's great to, to uh, you know, capture um. this because we all know my, to close this, part of what I've learned is we, we pass from this physical body, our goal is to pass with no guilt. So when we when we transform to out of this body, we're still alive, of course. We can have a nice peaceful transition to the next and, you know, continue to learn and educate and go to school and whatever we're doing until we can get another incarnation, whether it's here or another planet. Um, so we can continue to do our creator's will, which is the good part, not the bad part. Um, but it, it's, um, it's quite fascinating when you find these little details mm -hmm. like reincarnation is removed from the bible and two places it was entered and whatever you're discussing everything else is missing now i gotta go research that thank you so much but but you know great good this is what this is about i want to find the truth i want to gain the knowledge standard right because this is what I, I already knew there was more that I needed to know. Mm. And now I'm getting it. I'm like, man, now there's more I needed to know. Actually, thank you for that, but i got to go figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> so, but, um, so that's my piece of, of what excites me, that you know what, I'm just going to be better at whatever I'm doing. So give me some more so I can go be better at what I'm doing. I want to be kinder, nicer, more generous, more loving about everything. Because when I get that, imagine the planet I'm going to be on, and imagine what I'm going to wake up every single day after that. That's what I'm doing. You keep getting better and better. I think nature's way 
of uh, 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 bringing about evolution is through reincarnation. And of course, if we, if we take with us what we have learned past the grave, and then when we reincarnate, we have that as a basis. And of course, we keep seeing people that are certainly much, much yeah. more advanced than we are. You know? So it seems to me like reincarnation is nature's way of the causing evolution. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, That's you're screwing it up, true. man. You just, you know, you're going to get beat up again the next round. So let's get it right. That's not true. <laughs> yeah, you you're have your glasses. Do you have your glasses? No. no. I mean, I'm it's still yellow. I'm ready to read this. This is the closing <laughs> uh, paragraph of the the chapter that we are reading. Not the chapter. The, can you read that, please? Oh. That's Kardec writing something about this discussion. From this point of view, the Spiritist doctrine corresponds to human beings, aspirations for the future. Its ideas about the future rest upon practical and rational basis that satisfy positiveness orientation of our century. You will realize this when you take the time to study it. See also the medium's book, Chapter 2 and Review Spirit, December 1861, page 393, oh, okay. January 1862, page 21. Can I ask you a question? Is yeah. this, this book is not this book. Right? No, this is the, our next book, but hold on to because oh, we were talking about the same thing. like an thing. intro book. It's the oh, same oh, thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Actually, that's, uh, we are warming story. up with this one. Oh, this is the book I should be reading. That's yeah, why I, I that's put it, the, the file on the. Uh, no, but hold on to that's this good. book because that's good too. It is the same thing. Right. You guys, I need to ask a question. Really ask, quick. ask. Now, after reading this, right? There's the body, there's the soul, there's the spirit, and peri-spirit. Uh -huh. Can anybody explain to me how these dovetail? I know what the body is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go from there. Okay. So is the connection from the physical body and the spirit. Mm -hmm. So the fairy spirit, have you ever heard the word astro body? Does it sound better to you? No? Because you know there's a lot of people that, that say, oh, we have an astro body. Mm -hmm. So the fairy spirit is where all the memories and all the imprint of the different personas we have is projected. And stored. Maybe past lives. Okay, yeah. so what we have, what we have, all done, we story. Done, so it's all come from the spirit, but the spirit, in terms of uh, material, it's too different from the the you body. Can't animate this body, and so there's something in there is something in between, layers, and not only one. Right. There are many bodies. Many, but just like the the Hinduism and the Buddhism, they believe there are many bodies. Yes. Because, and why they believe? Because the clairvoyance, the people that are in contact with in, in those uh, studies, they see different bodies. They are able to see the bodies. And we, we were able, through spiritism, we are able to study them. So perispirit is one of them, because there is a mental body too. There are other bodies. But the perispirit is the connection between the soul and the physical body. Okay, so the per you have the, the physical body, we have the peri spirit, and then we have the spirit. Correct. Right? Okay, so I got those three. Tell me about the soul. The soul. The spirits, they will say over there, you will read that, that the soul is like a flame. And the soul, it's like, uh, it's light. And the soul doesn't have a form. So the peri spirit gives the form. So this body, will give the form of the fairy spirit. It gets more interesting. Every planet has a type of fairy spirit. Just like in every planet, we will have a different body, mm -hmm. humanoid type of body. Humanoid. It's like when we travel yeah, in space, you wear a space The humanoid, because it's always the legs yeah, like yeah, this and, and head, it's, it's always like that. Mm. So when you go to another planet mm -hmm. you gotta have the specifics to the chemistry to take you with the you. energy 
to go just to a next level. Different emblem, Let's different put it jacket. this way. The spirits that are elevated, they can come to a lower level planet, but if they are not compatible, this is chem chemistry, so if they are not compatible, you cannot go to a more elevated. You can go to a lower, right. but not more elevated. Because you're being there. You were lower before you got but, in the upper. But not, you know. Now, what has choice? When they say we have choice, now. We always have choice. Now, the body, we don't have to, has choice. We do have choice. What part? Well, no, he's in the body, but we. What do you we, mean we don't have choice? The spirit animates the body. Yeah, right. yeah, so yeah, okay, for example, they say that. Okay, let's say we have the creator, right? The creator. Okay. We have the body. Okay. And we have all these entities between us and the body. We and all the about, entities? Uh, we talk about. We talk about the peri spirit. Okay. We talk about the spirit. Okay. And we talk about the soul, right? Right. Now, when they say we have choice, where does the choice come in? All comes from the spirit. Yeah. You it's see, cheap. I have a disease it's here a on my hand. If I have a disease here on my hand, mm -hmm. that's an expression of my spirit. That's uh, that's something is disturbed there that is expressing here, but it doesn't come from here. And actually, this is the last the last stage of the disease. It comes from the soul. The spirit is damaged. It Let's comes say, from the soul. Great, pure, clean spirit, you would never be sick. It Ever. all comes from the because soul. Because your your bodies get sick from your And that's the reason spirit. why, that's and, the reason it's, why it's, it's, it's more important to, to develop your part. knowledge on the spirit mm -hmm. than anything else. Yes, of course, it's wonderful to heal your pain, and you should do that. But if you carry the the in your spirit that imperfection, let's put it this way, but don't take that word because I don't like it. Okay? But let's say you are addicted to lying, and you are not only this is not only a dense energy vibration but it's also let's say you're putting other people you're making people's life miserable yeah, right, right. so it has a consequence on that but let's say you created a disease because of lying let's say you have thyroid problem let's say throat let's say because it's around here i don't know in this chakra okay people Often when they know spiritualism or spiritism, they look for the spiritual surgery. But some mediums, they say, okay, they tell the truth. They say, we're going to heal you today, but it's going to come back. But some of them, yes, we can heal you. So we we'll all depend on your development. So we have to evolve in order to to heal our soul. So the part that so you focus on is the spirit. It's the spirit is basically the essence of who you are, right? Yes. That's what you're saying. Yes. So it's the spirit. And it's impurities. We cannot give all the answer in one. So that's right. why I'm uh, I'm allowing him to ask and trying to be yeah. more General. to resume mm -hmm. because it's it's not as I am saying it's, it's deep, deep. It's, it's yeah, deeper it's than that. So yeah. I'm trying to be like they. Just you can begin your incarnation but, uh, with defects, physical defects, all right. It uh, all and, and those who soul. come with certain physical if, defects, if he has this idea it was that it's all a manifestation what you did before, what you need now to overcome what you did. It's all like a manifestation you, of the soul. Is, but you're what not. What you chose to do. But you're not going. So you can evolve yourself. Sorry. You're not. No, it's okay. <laughs> you're not going to manifest. We are not going to manifest everything we have to take care of in one lifetime. So prior to this incarnation, we got in a meeting with our mentors and our and the people that love us unconditionally. And and they say, Okay, Cynthia, what do you wanna what do you wanna work? And then they probably have this that's my Send you to the earth. That's my um okay. uh, that's my or translation. They probably have a a cat scan of of the soul, and they go like, okay, can you say, can you go and do go through this tunnel? Let's see how is your soul. So they have here, and they go like, oh, you know, you've smoked a lot, and you destroyed your peri spirit here, but you know you can 
have respiratory problems for three or four incarnations so the, or so the, 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 the soul is what's created from the spirit and the physical how, how, how is this? no the soul and the spirit is the same thing got it no i got it the soul, soul and spirit is just the, same the soul thing. in the spiritism we call soul when it's incarnated in the body just to separate Thank and you. the spirit when it's out of the body got it. that's all but anyway so the the mentor will say you know you can have respiratory problem for three or four incarnations or you could have a cancer and clean this whole thing so it's up to us it's always up to us and you will read there too that most of the time we ask for trials we can't handle because we are as you said we, we are stubborn, we mm -hmm. are we arrogant, well, and they say no. The I can, I can take plan. the boss plus that wife or that husband that is very difficult plus those children, they are my enemies. And the only thing Bring that guy on. was supposed to learn was patience. Just one day. About ten years. One day. Yeah, but it, and it, they just hammered him until he figured it out. And easy to do it, figure it out, or it's not. Breaking the habits. It's like that. Breaking the habits. And all the these habits. details are very complex. The habits, so I many see, books to learn and stuff. I see that the habits, realizing our tendencies and who we are today, it's the inner trip, you know, it's the mm -hmm. inner knowledge. That's why people in our days are saying, you know, you got to know yourself. And that's true because the answer is all here but our inability to see our imperfections mm -hmm. and that's why we have mirror neurons and that's why i can see in you well you don't my problems you. <laughs> it is easier for me to see in you and you and you and you well, look at this guy look at that guy look at this guy look at that girl but it's in me. So it's all in me. It's my shadow. Deficiencies but I can't cases. see. Not all cases, but many. At this most. point of our soul development, we see in others. Because we are avoiding this inner trip to this foreign country, which is our soul. This is a great that we spun to this. But you know, people, one so of the things they add is just say, people, you know, people say, man, he's never going to change. Sure you can. It's the whole myth, right? It's like the most ridiculous thing when you learn and you start to study. Yeah. Truth. Everybody can change. Finish. You just choose. We have to finish, but this is You think is the guy that was bad and he went Thank to prison and then he got out and now he's a great guy? He changed. It's 9 o'clock. He realized that he needs to do something different it, with his life. Like we have you know, so much more to, to say. another place. Good place. We, let's say, let's put choose. it this way. We have been hypnotized by so many things and this is our choice our own choice because we are free we are in a hypnosis and I'm, in a, I'm a hypnotist and I can tell about this but we have to wake up now it is time to wake up and I think we are I believe we are I'm sorry we are five minutes uh, late but it's okay it's okay uh, let's do let's do just a little let's do a hard coherence kind of meditation which is take only 30 minutes and it goes like this I'm gonna I'm, I'm sorry I'm gonna <laughs> ask you I'm gonna ask you to take one breath and put your attention in your heart try to breathe from your heart or imagine that you are breathing through your heart. And now I'm going to ask you to please bring a face of someone or a pet, someone that you really love and care, someone that just the image of, of their face can make you smile and bring you this good vibration of life, love, and joy. Think about this being this person or this past. 
and see this wonderful energy coming out of your heart and hugging, giving a good hug and this being. Now I want you to look at and this person or pet's eyes. And show your gratitude through your eyes and how grateful you are for their love and their company in your life. And let this feeling warm you completely and give you a sense of love and gratitude for tonight and for this whole week. And I'll come back here to the room.